Whether you're looking to sell or buy a home, you should definitely be prepared for your final walkthrough. Welcome back, welcome home. It's Justin, your local real estate agent. I hope you're having an excellent, wonderful day. Now, today we're talking about the final walkthrough, and it is what it sounds like. It's the last time that you as a purchaser are gonna be walking through the house that you're buying before the closing. Now, for you as a seller, it may also be the last time that you're in your lovely home, right? So we got some heartstring stuff, but we also got some deal nitty gritty stuff that we got to go through. Now, why is the final walkthrough so important? Well, it's the last time that we have to check the condition of the home before you actually become responsible for it on the buyer side. And on the seller side, you want to make sure that any potential issues that could delay your sale from happening are already taken care of so we can have a smooth closing. For a buyer, you're typically going to be checking out three major things. You're going to want to make sure that the house is in the same condition from the last time that you saw it, which could have been a couple of months ago at the inspection, let's say. Second thing you're going to look for are agreed upon repairs that the seller was supposed to complete prior to the closing. You want to make sure that those repairs were actually done and the final walkthrough was the best time to check to make sure that they were. Third thing, remember the seller may be moving from the home or maybe there's a tenant there that's moving out. So you want to make sure that they've actually moved out and that all their personal belongings are gone as well. So the things that are important to the buyer, sellers, these are the things you're checking off on your checklist, these three things to make sure that you have a smooth final walkthrough as well. Now, who's going to be there? Well, you as the buyer should definitely be there. This is your asset. Uh, your trusted real estate agent, uh -huh, thank you, will be there as well. Seller, you should be there to provide access if need be, but if there's a lockbox or something else set up, you do not have to be present, and neither does your agent if access is already provided another way. Sellers, I know it's your home, it could be your pride and joy, but this is the last time that a buyer gets to check everything out. We wanna make sure that they're as comfortable as possible. Usually that means that we wanna give them the space to explore the home with their agent on their own. Now, when should a final walkthrough take place? This is a little bit of a balancing act, okay? We wanna do it close to the closing date because we don't want a big gap between when we do the final walkthrough and the actual closing because the bigger the gap, the larger the opportunity for issues to come up in between the walkthrough and the closing, right? But the other thing we have to balance is if there are issues that are found or things weren't done or done correctly, or there's an argument about that, we wanna have the opportunity to make sure they're addressed so that everyone can close and be happy. Now, if you're bringing issues to the table last minute, they can be worked out. I've had this happen from final walkthroughs and at closings. Very rarely has it have any issues been found, but when they have been found, we've been able to work them out at the closing table. But there's not a guarantee that that can always happen. So I usually recommend a day or two before the closing. The morning of is okay too, but just know that you might be bringing issues to the closing table. If that is okay with you and you're willing and ready to negotiate, great. Make sure your attorney's on board too because they're going to be doing the heavy lifting at the closing table. Now for our final thing on final walkthroughs, there's a free home buying guide and home selling overview that you can download from the link in the comments and descriptions below. Please, of course, if there's any questions or concerns that you have, drop them down in the comments. You know I love to hear from you. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to slam that subscribe button. We got weekly videos with real estate information. Thank you all so much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.